Hi everyone. Today I'm gonna react to SML movie The Meteor. So apparently the meteor is heading for Earth or something. And something happens. A uh, junior or Jeffy dis discover it or something. I freaking don't know. Anyway. We won't know unless we watch the video, so anyway, let's begin. Oh man, Jeffy, I can't believe we have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Heck yeah, Junior, they're going to be making full court shots behind the back, blindfolded, while having cheerleaders fart in their face like this. <laughs> oh heck, you're yeah, no. really good. Hey guys, what's going on? Oh hey Cody, we have tickets to watch the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. You want to come? Ooh, I do love the Harlem Globetrotters, but I have something else going on tonight that's even cooler. What's even Look cooler than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their fingers like this. I mean, that is pretty cool, but I think what I have going on is a little bit cooler. How does he, how do you do that? Well, there's this comet that only comes by Earth every 100,000 years, and it's coming by again tonight. How do we know it only comes by every 100,000 years? Well, because last time it came by was 100,000 years ago. Who do we know that was alive 100,000 years ago that can confirm that? Well, we don't know anybody. It's just they can track it. How can they track it? Like, did they send someone up 100,000 years ago to put a tracker on it? But no, no, they use, like, math. Look, Junior, hop off my cock. It's gonna be cool, okay? It's gonna be even cooler what? than watching the Harlem Globetrotters spin basketballs on their nose like this. How is he doing all of this? How is that possible? Just look in the sky? No, you need a telescope. We don't have a telescope, Cody, but what we do have is three tickets to see the Harlem Globetrotters play tonight. Well, Jimmy, three? look in front of you. The camera? No, next to the camera. Whoa, a telescope! Where'd this wow. come from? Wow. Oh, I got it from the telescope store. <laughs> this puppy cost me 600 smackaroonies. You spent 600 dollars? Dollars? You know what you could have bought with $600? Where did dollars come from? 60 Harlem Globetrotter tickets. Yeah, but I think it'll be worth it. This is pretty cool. So, we just go outside and see it? Well, yeah, yeah, Junior, I mean, think about it. This is only going to happen once every 100,000 years. Even your great-great-great-grandkids aren't going to be able to see this comet again. Well, are you sure it's going to be cool? Like, it's going to be even cooler than seeing the Harlem Globetrotters spin a basketball on their wiener like this? Bro! <laughs> yeah, yeah, guys, it'll be way cooler than that. Are... <laughs> you won't regret it. Now, come on, help me get this telescope outside. How is he doing all that? You pickle lickers. You ran to see something so pickle old. Pickle lickers. have seen it, but they didn't even know what they were I looking at. I hate pickles. They stupid little brains, but we know it's a comet because we have technology. Sure. All right. I just have to look through this little thing here. Uh, Junior, could you move? Why? Because I can only see your butt, which normally I wouldn't complain, but you know, like a hundred thousand years. I can see your butt <laughs> anyway. Oh, look, it's the Big Dipper. You want to see the Big Dipper, Junior? Sure. Okay, pull down my pants. Oh, no. Actually, so no, dude. Like little Dipper, but, uh, oh, look, there's Orion's belt. I wish you'd pull it off and spank me with it, that naughty little constellation. Where's the comet, Cody? Uh, I have the, the telescope planted right where it needs to be. It should be. Oh, my God. Whoa. Dude, that's so cool. Oh, where, where, where? It just went by. Where, where? I want to see it. It was a shooting oh, star. Gone, it's gone? Yeah, it was going like 75 million miles an hour. I mean, it's gone. Well, when, when can we see it? 100,000 years from now. Wait, <laughs> well, yeah, Junior. I mean, it was soon, and it's gone. Wait, we came out here. We, we missed the Harlem Globetrotters for this. Oh, uh, look. I'll find something else cool. Like, like, look, there's Saturn. You can see Saturn. Let me see. What, that, that's just a little dot in the sky. Well, but that's Saturn, though. It's a star. Not a, that's, not, that's not Saturn. It's not a star. It's just a planet. It's far well, away. Oh. Uh-oh. What, what are you talking about? The comet's back. Look. A meteor. Oh, God, what is that? That's what not a oh, comet. God, it's getting closer. It's, it's a, a meteor. Oh, it's a meteor! Uh, Cody, what's that? It's a meteor, Junior. And it landed in my backyard? Yeah. What are the odds of that happening? I don't know. Like, one in a trillion? Oh, my God. I want to touch it. Wait, no, Don't touch, it. touch it. it. It might be like a million degrees. It just fell out of the sky. It was on fire. Well, we have to take it inside, Cody. It's a meteor. I don't want anyone to take it from us. Yeah. Oh, come on. Look, let's grab it. Uh, Junior, I can't believe we actually found a meteor. It really came from outer space? Yeah, Junior, you saw it with your own eyes. Like all the way from space? I said yes, guys. Yeah, it... <laughs> yes. Yeah. Junior, that's what space smells like. Oh, it smells like crap. Yeah, but they, they say space smells like burnt steak, so I guess that's what it smells like. I want to lick it. Wait, don't, don't lick it. it. Bad. Well, come on, Junior. When am I going to get another chance to taste space? I'm going to give it a little lick. Oh, oh dude. Oh, God, that does not taste good. Oh, what's, it, what's it taste good? It tastes like bunk. <laughs> what's it taste good? <laughs> it tastes like bunghole, Junior. Oh, no, I tried it. They broke no, no, Junior, it. Uh, uh, it's an acquired taste. They broke so it. Yeah, it tastes like straight turd. Oh, so what do you think it's made of? Oh, dang, dude. Probably. It's, it's funny. It's made out of diamonds or gold or, or 
some material we haven't even found yet? I mean, I don't know, but I mean, what if it's radioactive and gives us all cancer? What? You just licked it. Oh my god, you're right. I, I think we should call an expert just to be sure. No, Cody, we're not going to call an expert because if we call an expert, they're going to come take this from us and take all the credit and take all the money. What if this is how Bill Gates made all his money? I, I don't think Bill Gates made his money from a meteor. I think he made his money from making Microsoft. How do you know he didn't find Microsoft? Yeah, too bad Microsoft didn't last that, that long. That doesn't make sense. How would you find software inside a meteor? What if it was like inside like a, a, a thumb drive inside the meteor? I, I don't think that's what happened, Junior. That's insane. What if the next iPhone's in here? I don't think Apple gets their iPhones from meteors that fall out of the sky. <sighs> okay, fine. We'll, we'll call uh, an expert. But what kind of expert do we call? I think we should call a meteorologist. So we're going to have a cold front. Brooklyn guy time. This week, and that's going to bring a lot of cold weather, hence the name cold front. Whenever I have a cold front, it causes it to shrivel. So you can be expecting one to two inches of snow in the Chicago did, area did that say, this week. So watch out for black did ice. Did say that's Louisville? Take your car off the road because that black ice is very slippery. So now we're going to go down to local weather here in Florida. Oh. Uh, you're probably wondering why I just gave you the Chicago weather well, report. Well, you just I saw my hometown, Chicago this week. Louisville. You didn't know the weather. So there you go, Bobby. Uh, here in Florida, it's going to be hot again. You know, big surprise there. You know, low 80s, high 80s all week. And it's going to be... Hey, hey, are you a meteorologist? <laughs> what are you kids doing in here? Well, are you a meteorologist? Yes, and I'm trying to do my job right now. Well, we need your help. Well, I I'm in the middle of the weather room. Wait, 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 what, what happened to my pants? Oh, your pants are green, so they're blending in with the green screen. Oh, it doesn't, it doesn't look like I have no pants on. Yeah, yeah. Like so you're a meteorologist, right? Yes, I'm a meteorologist. Can you come help us? Well, okay, fine. Uh, sorry, folks, uh, that's all the weather for today. If you forgot what I said, just, you have an iPhone, look it up. All right, what do you kids want that's so important you had to interrupt my meteorology? You know what's important? Colon health. I'm gonna go take a stink. Okay, uh, so all right what do you then. guys want? Well, you're a meteorologist, right? Yeah, you keep asking me that, and the answer's still yes. Well, we have a meteor here for you. Oh, well, see, I don't do that. You're a meteorologist. You mess with meteors. No, I just do weather. He's you a weatherman. That's well, a no, Brooklyn guy's new weather. job. Next thing you're going to tell me, biologists don't study bisexual people. That's not what that means either. Well, my whole life's a lie. Well, how do you even know this is a meteor? I saw it fall from the sky. Well, it sounds like a meteor. Oh, God, it smells like dookie. Because space smells bad. See, you space know more crap. about space than I do. Why Apparently. don't you figure this out? Because I thought a meteorologist would know about meteors. Sorry, I'm dumb. Well, I'm sorry, but that's not well, what you are do dumb. handle weather. So what else are you good for? Well, not much. I mean, just 80-year-olds watch me on the news so that they can go, <gasps> It's going to rain tomorrow. I need to cover my patio furniture. Sure. That's what I think 80-year-olds sound like. Look, I'm a weatherman. Just call me a weatherman. So then what am I supposed to do about this? I don't know. Just talk to an actual scientist. Somebody who'd actually know. Okay. All right. I'm going to go back to yeah, work. Yeah, good idea. Wait, is that my green screen back How did that green screen oh, get oh back God. there? I'm not really a meteorologist. I'm a fraud. I'm just a big, stupid fraud. Wow. <laughs> what a total joke. Oh, it's the... Oh, boy. <laughs> the funny sounding aliens. It's the funny sounding aliens again. Sorry about that, Junior. I had to go make a stinkeroni and cheese. Mine is the roni and the cheese, so it was all That is gross. Yeah, get it off. Uh, yeah. What'd the meteorologist say? He said he doesn't deal with meteors, just weather. But he's a meteorologist. I know, I said that too. So what do we do now? He said to call a scientist. Okay, I guess I'll go get the phone book and look for scientist. Oh, Might I'll as well. You'll answer it? Yeah, I will. Me. I will now leave to go answer the door. Hello? Oh, oh no! What's taking Jeffy so long? To <laughs> aliens! I didn't know there was gonna be aliens! Now give us this meteor! Ow, what was Dude. that for? I told you people were gonna try to steal this meteor. Yeah, it's very valuable. It's worth at least seven blorb tokens. Seven blorb tokens. Blorb tokens. How much is that? I'm, I'm gonna Google it. Um, yep, take your time. Hold on. Uh, we'll do seven blorb tokens, U.S. dollars. Oh my God, Junior, that's two hundred and seventy-six dollars. Oh, wow, like for real. Yeah, we're not gonna let you just come up here and rob us. I have a gun. Well, that's not so bad. Damn, I guess we're getting robbed. Alright. I'm gonna put my gun down. This is really hard. Can you help me? Gun. These funny sounding aliens, gun. man. Shoot him, shoot him, shoot him. He said, please, you still killed him. Yeah, I feel pretty shitty about that. He tried to beg for his life. No regard for human life or alien life. Oh, man, I'm a monster. What are you going to do about that one? Uh, uh, well, you're just killing all the aliens. I know, I'm panicked. I'm sorry. Oh, God. You're a bad guy. Yeah, you're really, yeah, you're really messed up. 
shits. Yeah, that's a good Finkel. idea. We know where he oh, is. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Dr. Finkel crap. Diamonds in it, if it's poisonous. Yeah, good idea. Come Let's on. Go. Yeah, Wait, good idea. Tevi, I need help. Atari, yeah, Atari. help him out. I will now create the perfect beverage to go with my Lunchable because my mom forgot my Capri Sun. Mom, you slut. Okay. <laughs> you can't talk to your mother like that. Is this? Of the red Kool Aid. Ha <laughs> ha. Got him. <laughs> oh, this is going to be delicious. Hey. But, but, who are you? How did you get in here? Mom, why did you let these children in my laboratory? Uh, we found this meteor. It landed in my backyard. A meteor, you say? Good. Don't know what that means. Aliens. <laughs> I will take a look. Well, at of this course. <laughs> it's just a rock. This is not a meteor. Well, yes, it is. It fell in my backyard. I saw it fall from the sky. That is because. This is poo poo that fell from an aeroplane. What? Well, you see, it, it was, was it was fecal so matters. When they use the toilet, and then they drop it from fecal and matters. It creates kind of a, a shit rock. And then you have found this and brought it to me during my lunch break. So thank you very much for that. You made him sick. <laughs> <laughs> it was fecal matters. <laughs> It, it is a turd. Hey, don't lick me. Get away from me. Get away from me, dude. How am I? Oh, whatever, dude. You licking me. Junior, don't remind me. It's gross enough. So two aliens literally died over a turd rock. Jax is the one who licks me. So what do we do with it? Do we like flush it down the toilet? No, Junior, it's a rock. We just throw it away. Okay, I'll get a trash bag. Yeah, this is gross. Yeah, real gross. Dude, stop! It's... No! <laughs> oh, dude! It's fecal matters, dude! It was from an aeroplane! <laughs> it was... What would I do if I found a meteor? No one... I don't freaking know. <laughs> Why would you do that, man? <laughs> and they've been not once but twice they were breaking character. That's hilarious, man. <laughs> it's always funny every time they break character. I can't with that right now. <laughs> All right. Uh, it was done. Hope you guys enjoyed. I have Candy Crush friends in, I don't know, less than an hour, so stay tuned for that. Whew. Have a great evening.